Hello and welcome to the Science Fury. In this video I will show how to build a mini hydrogen generator. For the generator we basically have to put two electrodes in two separate containers but connect it at the bottom so the chemical reaction can happen. A lot of times people are using stainless steel electrodes however they are still dissolving and contaminating the water with chromium. So I will use graphite electrodes from what I've heard they're not dissolving but after trying them out it's clear that there is graphite coming off of them but I think it's still better than stainless steel. For the hydrogen generator I used these plastic containers because they have skewlets and flat sides to connect them together. However, I found out that the lids are not tight, so I decided to glue them shut and use separate screw lids for the electrodes. To hold the electrodes, I glued small screws in the lids and drilled holes in the graphite electrodes, just big enough to screw them on. In the lids of the two containers, I cut two holes, one for the electrodes and the other one for a hose connection for the gases. And then I'm basically done. I just had to fill the generator with a sodium hydroxide solution. It's important to use sodium hydroxide and not salt to make the water conductive because with salt we would generate chlorine and that's not very healthy. <laughs> After that I just connected the negative electrode on the hydrogen side and the positive electrode on the oxygen side. And to collect the hydrogen I used a hose going into a plastic bag. The hydrogen production at 12 volts was very slow because I kind of forgot to put the electrodes as close together as possible to minimize resistance. But instead I just raised the voltage. However, the generator also got pretty hot, so I put it into water bath. After a while, the plastic bag was half full and I didn't want to wait any longer and I tried lighting it on fire. And yeah, it worked, but the production of hydrogen is still very, very slow. After that, I got some balloons to fill them, but it was still very slow. So I got the stupid idea to raise the voltage even more. However, this generated so much heat that the container deformed and started leaking. So this definitely needs some improvements with closer electrodes and heat resistant containers. If you want to see me building that, subscribe for this video and until next time.